Hey everyone, welcome back to Cold Party Book of Shadows. Last time we, we finished the mines, last time we was on this, and now we have unlocked the new one, Encounter. And that means we got, after we do Encounter, it means we got one, two, three, four chapters after Encounter. So we still have yet to start it. So let's jump right in. And uh, the, if you haven't watched the last video, watch it now before, because we're going to spoil little thing. Tenjin Gobanchi no. Oh, we're mm -hmm. playing Satoshi already? I don't think we'll play with him yet. But anyway, the last fucking episode, you watch it, because I'm about to spoil something if you didn't well, if you didn't see the last episode, so quickly. You give all you can pause the video. Alright, so last one, Mayu died. Just for you <laughs> hopefully it didn't spoil for any of you. I'll I'll give you a moment to for pause the video or get off it or we can skip ahead. So Mayu died, she got killed. And the other girl that we found that was taped up doing a little bondage thing, she died as well by that freaking, oh, what was it, teacher, principal's son, that's it, principal's son. And uh, yeah, we'll find out who we're going to be, we're, at least we're playing a strategy now anyway, but. I wonder if he's going to show before, like he did with Naomi. Uh, I think he is. Ooh, he is. Strange, actually. This really wasn't my day. I knocked over my alarm clock this morning, and of course it stopped working. The very last pork sandwich sold out right before my eyes during lunch. Lunch. I was rubbed into a favor when I happened upon my homeroom teacher, Mr. Yamazaki, long after the school day had ended. So now, lucky or not. I was on my way to deliver some notes to Miss Yu, our homeroom TA, who was out sick with a cold. Okay, so we have to go back to the house and get ready for the house. Hmm? I'm going to go back to the house of the house of the house of the 33-77-77 I stopped and compared the memo in my hand with the apartment building in front of me. It was two stories tall and looked a little on the shabby side. Probably about 20 years old. It didn't seem very solid, nor was it particularly stylish or chic. It was completely un unremarkable structure in every way. This I was really getting fed up with his handwriting, and from a teacher no less. In any case, it seemed certain that the apartment was on the second floor, so I, I trudged up, startlingly, start, is it startlingly? I don't know. Narrow, deep stairs. All them, all them, them sound effects. The metal staircase was thoroughly blotched with patches of rust. Why was someone living in such a rundown apartment building? Wait, so we're going to miss Yu's house. I felt a little sorry for her, but in a way, I suppose it's kind of fit her. Kind of fit her person. Wait, what? This place kind of fit. I just think it's a mess up her personality. With that thought in mind, I turn my attention towards apartment 201. No. Oh, the door plate for the room nearest the stairs had a name. I didn't recognize scribbled. I didn't recognize scribbled on it. Wait, what? I didn't recognize scribbled on it. I did mess up twice now. Passing room to a one, I continued down the narrow walkway toward the end. Wandering alone around the apartment building I had never been to be been to before made me feel kind of nervous. It wasn't like I was doing anything wrong. But my back was still tensed up as I, ma I maneuvered around piled up strollers, plastic toys and bundles of newspapers. And then finally arrived no, uh, finally, I arrived at the last door. Kokoda! Bingo! Okay, he's really <laughs> this was it. I breathed a sigh of relief. The door plate for apartment 207 read 
Shit. What's it? Shit. I'm trying to say. Shit. Shishido. Is that it? Shishido? For an adult's handwriting, especially, the letters were rounded and overly cutis. This was misused place, alright. What? What is this? I leaned in to read something written in small, in small script on the corner of the door plate. I view chewy. Oh crap. The, eh? Mouken chewy, じゃなくて。ゆい先生らしいや。So how does one exactly beware a house cat? Is it even possible for a house cat to be threatening? At any rate, I can. I confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt that this was misused place, so my errand was nearing its end. So then, you still, Yamazaki 先生もひどいよな。風邪ひいたクラスメートにプリント持っていくならわかるけど、風邪ひいた副担の先生のうちに授業のノートを届けろって。うん、絶対におかしい。間違いなくこれ担任の仕事だよ。That looks weird. Go to your teacher's house, but she. Woman teacher, and he's a boy student. <laughs> he said he he was busy with meetings though, and I really needed one of his student, and he really needed one of his students to have him out. But was it really okay to entrust a school student with confidential class notes? これ生徒が読んじゃまずいノートなんじゃないのか I think go with it. Go with. Mine kept drifting from one crush to another, and I. Become acutely aware of the inherent value of these notes I had in my bag, but tempting as it was, I just couldn't bring myself to look at them. Go on. Oh, shut up, man! Put his faith in you. After all, I was stronger than that. I couldn't let this get the best of me. At any rate, I was here. I should have just been to be able to drop off the notes and be on my way. But all my doubts and misgivings aside, I rang the doorbell, and then I waited and waited. And waited some more, but it was no answer. Oh, oh, I, 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 That's why part of me was actually a little happy that I was asked to run, over, run these over to her. I figured I'd be able to check in and see how she was doing, and let everyone at school know that she was feeling better. けど会えないっていうのは想定外だったな。ゆい先生、ゆい先生。反応なしか。えっと。ゆい先生、すみません。She's probably sleeping or out at the doctor's or something. But what if she was hurt? I tried opening the mail slot and peeking in. I thought maybe I can get a glimpse. I could get a glimpse of the room inside. ゆい先生。Felt kind of wrong peeking into someone's house without their permission. I was legitimately worried about Miss Yu's health, so my、uh, conscience was clear on this one. <coughs> oh no, the deadly cat! <coughs> oh, Nico! A well-groomed cat was facing the door and staring back at me, with its head tilted slightly to the side, and it let out an adorable, adorable meow. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. This must be the cat I was instructed to beware. And since Miss Yu was always going on and on about her little buddy, I was pretty sure I remembered his name. This guy was the rumor of Mole, not Tashka. Mole. So that Mole Chan. Hey, beautiful cat. Miss Yu talked about a cat a lot in class. So pretty much the whole school had heard of him. <laughs> So even had some tins of, oh, she even had some tins of cat food on the shelf in the classroom. Probably because she brought too much and had no room for them in her apartment. Money, money. 
。先生はいるか先生がいるんだったら、起こしてきてほしいんだ。もうね、頼むよ。<laughs> the shoulders sank. I felt the feed. The hell was I doing? Frozen mail starts to back up. You what the no? You is doka guy's to toka? I did a shinaka no. The base were locked. Lost in the speculation, I placed my hand on the door now. With a quick twist, I turned and pushed on the door, opening it easily. Oh shit, what's going on? Kagi, Kaka, the Nai no ka. Oh, Ike ne. Mone ga deta ra taihen da. Oh shit. Ah. Ha ha. Omae no go shijin sama wa buyou jin da na. Kagi mo kakete nai nante. Manet's whiskers twitched as I called. Out to him from the entrance way. Hmm. What? That's the way you're doing it. She purrs. Oh god. Mone, I think you're so mad. Here I was talking to a cat. Was this what I, what I become? What do I was feeling pretty uneasy. Not only I peeped into someone's home, I walked in, walked in without a second thought. Moreover, this is where Miss Yu lived alone. In other words, a woman's apartment. No matter how many, how many, no matter how many times I reminded myself that it, I was here on an errand, I couldn't help feeling that I was not only crossed a line but le leaped over it. Yu Sensei. Yeah, but the fact that she's not responding and then she's sick, but she's not at home. And she left the door unlocked. If she did go out, that's kind of weird. Like, if something happened to her in in the house, I tried calling her name one last time, but as expected, there was no answer. Antoni, do I do? I was trying hard to avoid being too noisy, but my eyes inevitably began surveying the room. The apartment entrance let out immediate. The apartment entrance let let out immediately into the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> and beyond that, there was a sliding door to some other room. I could see light through the gaps. I strained my ears, but there was nothing to hear. No signs of life whatsoever. Is Miss Yu really must have been out? One more time, I tried calling out to her one more time, just to put my concerns at ease. I felt like yeah, I seem even more suspicious if I if he if I stay silent. Yui Sensei, Mochida des. Still nothing. Maybe she was asleep on the other side of, of that door. Tashikomete mi. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Shaking my head furiously, I cast out that sudden impulse. That was a terrible terrible idea, pure and simple. Entering the apartment unannounced was bad enough, but walking. All the way in, opening that sliding door and peeking inside, that was just too much. Do you go? Kono timing de Yui sensei ga soto kara kaitte kitari shita ra, ore. Kekko mazui. Janakute, daibu mazui! Monty meowed as if in agreement. Panicking, I once again surveyed. Surveyed my surroundings. I almost felt like there were eyes on me, staring with disdain. The fuck was that? <laughs> but of course, nobody was there. Oh, so da. Kakioki o nokoshite ikeba in janai ka? Wondering why I didn't think of this sooner, I dug into my bag for some paper and pen. Yamazaki sensei kara tanomareta no de. Crushing the doorway, I ran my pen across the page. I brought class notes at Mr. Yamazaki's 
guys. <laughs> Everyone has been worried about you. Sorry about barging into your apartment. あと、不用心だから、鍵はかけた方がいいと思いますと。Hmm? As I was writing the note, I sensed a presence in front of me. <sighs> there was just a moment ago, this house had no signs of human life in it, but now I could feel someone standing directly ahead, standing and looking down at me. 